Good day, Grade 11s. Welcome to this final lesson in Week 36 in Exam Preparation. Please understand that we've only chosen some very selective questions. Um, so there may be sections that haven't been totally covered. Please go and do the questions in the Turnable system, which covers all the questions, all the sections. Right, let's get going. It says nitric acid and copper react to form the following unbalanced equation. So it says nitric acid plus copper forms copper nitrate plus nitrogen dioxide plus water. Okay, it says define reduction in terms of oxidation numbers. Define reduction in terms of oxidation numbers. Now reduction is what? It is the gain of electrons. And what does that mean? It means that the oxidation number, the oxidation number is going to be reduced, is going to be reduced. Why? Because it becomes more negative, because electrons are negative. So there you go, the oxidation number, reduction is when the oxidation number is reduced. Now it says, from this formula, write down the formula of a substance that is oxidized, okay, and the reducing agent, and it says allocate oxidation numbers to the relevant species, then explain the answer. Oxidizing agent, explain the answer in terms of electron transfer. Then it says balance the equation using the ion electron method, show the oxidation reduction half reactions, okay. So if we look at this, we need to decide what is the oxidation half reaction and what is the reduction half reaction. We've got nitric acid plus copper forms copper nitrate plus nitrogen dioxide plus water. Okay, and they want to know which one is being oxidized, the substance has been oxidized. Right, so let's start with something that is pretty obvious to look at. Let's look at the copper going to copper nitrate. We know that the oxidation number of copper, Cu, is zero because it is a pure element, okay? It is going to copper nitrate, so it is going to Cu2+, plus, and it's given away two electrons. So if it's given away two electrons, what is happening? We know that oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So if it's been if if it's a lost electrons, which it has, it means that it is being oxidized. So the substance that is being oxidized is copper. Right. Or it says write down the formula, my bad. So you need to always write down the formula which is just Cu. Now it says write down the reducing agent. Well, the reducing agent is the one that's been oxidized. So that is also Cu. And it says allocate oxidation numbers to the relevant species to explain. Well, I have just done that. We know that the oxidation number of Cu is zero because it is a pure element. And Cu2 plus is in this bit over here. So because of the fact that this shows copper nitrate, CuNO3. 2 means that it's going to be Cu2 plus and that is NO3 minus but there are two of them. Okay, there we go. Now it says the oxidizing agent. Well the oxidizing agent is the one that's being reduced, the dude that's been reduced. So what is happening? He is gaining electrons. He is gaining electrons. So what we need to do is decide which of these people have gained electrons and they said explain the terms in this answer in terms of electron transfer. So they don't want you to use oxidation numbers, they want you to use the fact that they've gained electrons. Okay, so obviously if a copper is giving away electrons, what is being reduced is your nitric acid. So your nitric acid is being reduced and if you're being reduced you have got you are the oxidizing agent and why because you're gaining electrons and how do we know that we know that because HNO3 is broken up to form NO2 and water and there's an NO3 there so in other words it needs to have gained the electrons from the copper to form copper nitrate now it says balance the equation using the iron electron method. Show the oxidation reduction half reactions before balancing. So what we're going to do is we are going to use our redox table. We are going to use our redox table. So if we look at our redox table, you can see that there is a formula that says Cu2 plus plus two electrons as in dynamic equilibrium with Cu. 
we also have if we look carefully we can also see that we've got NO3 minus plus 2H plus plus an electron is in dynamic equilibrium with NO2 plus H2O. So you can see that over here we've got a Cu, okay, we've got a Cu2 plus, we've got an NO3 minus with 2H plus, which means that that is an acid, it forms an NO2 and a water. So it's all starting to look very good. But there's a problem, the way I've written it out, it looks like your copper ions on the left hand side but what's important is that if you look at your redox table and you want it to be spontaneous the sh reaction the shape that it has to form is this in other words the top reaction which happens to be your cu is in which is in dynamic equilibrium with cu two plus and two electrons must be read from right to left and the bottom reaction, which in this case is your nitrate plus your hydrogen ions plus electron gives you nitrogen dioxide plus water, must be written from left to right to make this be a spontaneous reaction, which it is. So therefore, I'm going to rewrite this now. So let me just hang on. So if I write it the correct way, we've got Cu. And when we, as soon as we start writing it as it is in the reaction, we no longer write the double arrows, okay? Because the double arrows mean it is a reversible reaction. But in this reaction, we're only looking at the half reactions that are actually happening. So it's going to be Cu goes to Cu2 plus, plus two electrons, right? We also have that NO3 minus plus 2H plus plus an electron, one electron, goes to NO2 plus H2O. And now we need to balance it because this is giving off two electrons, but this is only accepting one. So we need to do something. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the bottom half reaction by two so that it takes up both these electrons. So this becomes a two that becomes 4, that is 2, that is 2, and that is 2. And now we can balance this reaction because these cancel. Because now the two electrons that are given off by the copper are taken up totally by the nitrate. So we've got copper plus 2NO3 minus plus 4H plus goes to Cu2 plus plus 2NO2 plus your water. Okay. And that is basically how you would do it. And you don't have to now complete this by making it look pretty and you don't need to put a spectator iron in there at all. And that is how you balance this using your redox table. Please, grade 11, if you didn't understand what we're doing in this, go back to your redox sections, go watch the videos, go do the questions in the turnable system and make sure you really know the section very well. Have a great day.